Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be going over the new V Rising update, this time on the PlayStation blog. Uh, <laughs> I'm not too familiar with the PlayStation blog, but I assume it has something to do with the uh, PlayStation itself, uh, which I find really interesting because we still don't have a release date for the PS5 version of the game. So I'm hoping that uh, this time they're going to reveal that, but I mean, maybe that's wishful thinking, but we will find out. V Rising, here's what to expect when you enter Dracula's frozen domain of Mordium. Ooh, okay. Oh, this looks like the, the new area that we haven't seen yet. So let's see. New gameplay details on the challenges, foes, and the vampire king that await you. V Rising is a survival game with action RPG elements and razor sharp skill based combat coming to PS5 later this year. Wake up as a vampire after centuries of withering slumber. Your kin have been forgotten after catastrophic defeat at the hands of the Church of Luminance. Emerge from your crypt, explore a vast world, hunt for blood, and build a sprawling castle on your quest to reclaim your former glory. But what glory is there to reclaim? What is the vampire promised? Ooh. Earlier this year, when we announced V Rising was coming to PS5, we provided a glimpse into its storyline, gameplay mechanics, and expansive open world. Today, we want to focus on the corner of the realm, the dangers that await within, and of course, the vampire king plotting his return from the heart of its overcast lands, Dracula. All right. So it looks like we have a V Rising gameplay trailer for Ruins of Mordium. And of course, it uh, looks to be posted on the PlayStation official um, YouTube channel. So yeah, let's check it out. Let's see what we got. Okay, in the corner, I already see a prisoner. <laughs> I know that was like the first thing that like drew in my eye because of the the bars i was like what structure is that and so my eyes just went straight there it looks like there oh actually there's two prisoners in here that i can see i didn't see this one at first interesting okay hold on a second i'm not sure if this is blood roses but this looks kind of odd to me something about it This might be Hollowed Mountain's entrance because I see some, I think these might be snow flowers or actually this could just be some weeds here. Hmm. This looks like Hollowed Mountain's leading to uh, Ruins of Mordium. So it's trying to give a place on the map. That's what it looks like to me. Wow. Okay, we already have a bunch of people walking around. They don't look sound of mine though like this guy over here was just kind of like walking weird what the hell oh there's a dracula's worshippers i guess okay i think i stopped at a bad time let me go back i need to see this again that gargoyle i don't think is anything we haven't seen before uh, it's interesting that it's like perched on top of the roofs, though. It's kind of kind of cool. I wonder what that person in the center here is doing, though. Um, they look li to be like channeling blood or something. I don't know. It's kind of weird. And again, this looks like almost like a frostbitten blood rose, but I'm not entirely. I don't think this is a blood rose. This this is so this might be something new. This plant here. Hmm. Looks like they're trying to summon something. Oh wow. Okay, so already we have some familiar foes. Let's go back. So after this scene here, that guy, yeah, remember him from last time? I pointed him out, he was in a previous dev vlog. Uh, that thing as well, and this is new. This is new. That, hmm, let me go back. Let's go back a few frames, hold on. Oh, wow, never mind. Yeah, that's definitely him. 
That's definitely the other thing. That one's new. Is that a... Oh, there's a succubus right there that people were talking about. Um, from another previous dev blog. That one is new. We have not seen this. Um, judging from the body, it looks like some kind of demon-like creature, but... Their body just looks so odd to me. Like, something about it... I don't know. Hmm. With actually, you know what? With horns like that, it wouldn't surprise me if... Well, actually, you know what? I'm not sure. Let's continue. There's another guy right here that we've seen in the previous dev vlog. So that's another one. Wow. it's a lot of them. There's the whip right there in action. That's our first view of the whip, I believe, in actual combat. Besides, you know, an NPC or like a boss wielding a whip. So that this is this looks to be Oh, okay. It looks like we have a dash attack, so let's go back again. Okay, so we have I don't know what that is. The they've shown um they've shown us this before with like the orbs flying around and stuff in a previous dev vlog. I still don't quite know what that is. Um just kind of looking around. Okay. Hmm. There's the whip. That's one hit. One crack of the whip. I don't... What is that? Hmm. Okay. That looks like a harder crack of the whip. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna have a dash with the whip. Oh, here we go. There's a longbow right here. You know what? Let's go back. I'm just trying to make sure I get... That I don't miss something here. So, first crack of the whip gonna be going frame by frame here second crack of the whip that one looks a little bit more um looks a little bit more powerful that might be like a one of the abilities for this weapon maybe we'll see yeah this is definitely a dash they didn't use like a spell dash to dash here this is a weapon dash for sure kind of like pistols so that's interesting and it looks like you have a circle attack right after that all right let's check the longbow so longbow looks like we're gonna have the cone attack oh man what are those things falling from the sky like i i really i wonder hold on a second what are we looking at here? Oh! This looks like a boss. What is that, like a shield kind of ability? They're spinning spears. Okay, so this enemy looks like they're going to be using a spear. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, yeah, so when you use the, the AoE cone, that's when she started doing that. Hmm. I find it interesting that there's like an Iron Maiden here in the corner. I wonder if that has anything to do with the fight or if that's just like a environmental thing. Just kind of looking around. Wow, there's a lot of spears dropping. Oh yeah, that's definitely, I feel like this is definitely a boss. Like look at, look at her face, man. Does that look like a face of pacifism? That does not to me. <laughs> uh. Looking at their armor, they're probably, if I had to guess, maybe one of Dracula's, like, they're probably one of Dracula's followers. Um, I think in a previous update, I think last time they talked about um, parts of their military that are, like, higher up, so, like, maybe some generals or something. So I'm going to have to cross-reference that. But uh, looking at her eyes, she's definitely a vampire. Looking at her... Uh, Looking at her hair, she's definitely a vampire. <laughs> um, but yeah, she seems to be in uh, some interesting armor. So I, I don't know. Uh, I don't think we have a boss that wields a spear yet. Um, now I think about it. I could be wrong. Let me think. No, I don't I don't think we have a boss that wields a spear yet. So this, is a, this might actually be kind of interesting. Um, we'll see. Okay, I love this angle. Please let me take screenshots like this. <laughs> That's like one of the things I wish I could do in the game. Uh, 
All right, so this looks like this might be some kind of... Okay, so the horse is facing towards this building, so it's some kind of entrance, probably. Um, this is the Winged Horror. There's a couple statues. Uh, my understanding is that the Winged Horror was, like, Dracula's pet before he, like, croaked. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. I wonder what it is that they're holding. Those red orbs are very ominous. Oh, oh, this is Dracula's castle, isn't it? Look at the destruction. Look at, look at the... Oh my god. Hold on, let's go back. Yeah, this is definitely Dracula's castle, isn't it? I don't know. The shape confuses me. It makes me, it kind of makes me worry a little bit that I might be wrong about this. But then we look... Okay, so this looks like a ripped up, torn carpet. Maybe. Um, that's very, like, interesting. These floor tiles are neat looking. Uh, I hope we get these floor tiles. The chandelier is new, I think. I don't think I've seen that chandelier. Um, same thing with this lamp here. This looks new. I don't think the... Well, hmm. I'm trying to see. There's a lot of, like, destruction here. You have vases, you have pots, you have... I mean, this just... This area... Cut, is uh, kind of indicative of like former wealth and glory. If you look at everything, it just kind of gives that air of prestige, but destroyed. Um, is that Dracula right there? Is he going to spawn? No, no, no. Wait, hold on. His throne is in the background. His throne is in the background. So what's going on here? Hmm. Oh, there's a teleporter. What? There's a portal. Oh, let's go back a few frames. Hold on. I gotta see this again. Oh, by the way, one other thing I meant to mention. I, I keep forgetting to show you guys. So, this here, this brazier, pretty sure that's a brazier, looks really cool. I want it. Just side note. <laughs> yeah, that definitely looks like a portal of some kind. And there is the carpet we saw in the trailer. Um, so this was, yeah, this is definitely the carpet we saw in the trailer. I hope we get this carpet, man. It looks cool. Um, these floor tiles, like I said, they look nice, but it looks like we kind of gone back in time as if nothing was wrong, you know, interesting. Oh, fuck no. That is a big ass sword. Holy crap. That <laughs> I saw that sword before I saw Dracula. <laughs> okay then. Um just looking around quickly. Yeah, this is this is definitely Dracula. Look at him. Yeah, he, he's big, he's intimidating. Holy crap. Whoa. Okay, so we have a little bit of special effects here. I'm gonna play it through and then I'm gonna go back and comment. Oh, that was the end. Come on, are we getting a PS5 date? Are we getting a PS5 date? The hunt begins, come on. No! No, stop pulling my leg! Come on, man! <laughs> Sorry, PS5 peeps. Still don't have a release date for the PS5 version. Okay, so... Yikes, we still don't know the PS5 release, man. Come on. Why you gotta tease like that? Okay, so these frames are really fast. I'm just gonna go back a little bit. See if we can get any kind of like real visual from this. Okay, so it's just a lot of like chaos happening here in the screen. It's hard to tell exactly what this is. So, okay, so that is definitely Dracula. You could just tell. Uh, the armor is the same, and man, those chandeliers fixed up look beautiful. I'm just gonna say that too. He has a nice place. It's a it's a shame I have to kill him. This is just a close up. I don't see anything too interesting here. Just a lot of chaos. Looks like he's just using abilities. So I guess he's gonna have like a red streak to his abilities. Wow. That cape looks cool though. Look at the. Is this a cape? I think that's a cape. It looks like a cape. It looks cool. Let me let me just uh, continue here. 
oh, that looked like a bat. What is that? Hold on. You see that thing flapping here? It looks like a bat. Hold on. This is, why does this look so bad? Let me. I don't think that's going to help, but we'll continue. Yeah, that was definitely a bat. Interesting. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. What is he doing? No, we're going to get destroyed. I can already tell we're going to get destroyed. This is this is crazy. I didn't think we'd actually see his face in this trailer. I, I'm actually kind of surprised like they even revealed that. That's insane. Man, I just love the way his castle looks. It's so it's just so grand and like, man, that it just looks nice, man. Yeah, that's definitely a bat. And this looks like he just got a hold of us, maybe. And it's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna suck all the blood out of you. Yeah, that's definitely Dracula, man. He... Wow. Wow. Okay, so a few takeaways from this trailer. Looks awesome uh <laughs> super excited to see that um super excited to see dracula i mean some of the just the the imagery here is really cool i know they're kind of teasing us with like abilities and stuff to try not to show too much of the fight probably but i just think that this this game is such a like there's so much there's so many good things going on here that i i don't even know where to start like between the architecture, which I really like. Also, I wonder if like we're gonna get a chance to like put this statue somewhere in our castle. That would be so cool. Like, I doubt it, because you know it's part of Dracula's thing. But like if we kill Dracula, do we get his do we get his uh his cool statues? Like, do we get like all this like furniture and stuff? Can I steal his stuff? <laughs> I don't know, that's just my first thought. Um, really, really cool. I mean, this whole thing is just... Actually, let me let me mute it real quick. We didn't get a voice. Uh, we did hear... Well, we did hear him in the previous trailer, so I find it interesting we didn't hear any, like, voice lines in-game. Uh, but, yeah, it looks like we gotta take a portal to... to kind of... confront him, which is kind of interesting. Uh, the pillars of this castle look so nice. Like... Just looking at the little bat wings on the on the edges here, just the the architecture, the railing, just oh man, I really hope we get a lot of this furniture. It looks so cool. You know something else I noticed too? These lamps here, like these braziers, they're also something we haven't seen before. I, I'm just kind of looking around. Oh, it looks like there's like some kind of statue on the side here. I think that's part of like the building, though. I don't think we're going to see it as like a separate item. This lamp here, though, looks nice. This might be this would be cool as like a furniture item. I hope we get that. I don't know. But yeah, this lo this looks insane. I mean, it just looks sick. I'm sure people are going to be like, oh, why are you talking about the furniture in the area? It's like, because I like this stuff, man. I like this stuff, okay? I'm a castle decorator, all right? That's what I do. And then, of course, Dracula kicking our ass, pulling in all the blood. I mean, such a tease, man. Such a tease. And we didn't get a PS5 release date. That's really unfortunate. Um, they're definitely hyping it up though, so it's definitely coming out on PS5 for sure. They, they've definitely put in a lot of, um, a lot of advertising toward it. I wonder what the rest of the blog says though, because I'm wondering if they mention at all if the game is going to be crossplay between PS5 and PC. That is one of the biggest questions I have right now for this game. Um, it would be a shame if it wasn't crossplay, but I really hope it is, but we'll see. Uh, let's see. Legend of the Immortal King. In the world of V Rising, Dracula was both a conqueror and tyrant, ruling from his throne in the frozen realm of Mordium. Untouched by sunlight at the heart of the Vampire Empire, from there he waged a great war and brought humanity to the brink of extinction. Humanity's desperate prayers were answered in the form of a divine power that appeared suddenly for the first time, allowing them to repel not only Dracula's Legion of Noctum, but felled the immortal king himself. Yet for Dracula, defeat 
was not death. In the eons since, the nocturnal lord has resided in a weakened state in the shadow realm, strengthening himself and planning his return. That time has come. Dracula has sent out a call to arms, rousing untold legions of vampires from their centuries-long rest, yet not all who awaken are content to serve. Some are more ambitious than others and would instead seek to take the throne for themselves and be rising you are one such vampire enter the ruins of mortium the vampire empire's core lies in mortium a cold and regal snowscape famously untouched by sunlight this was once the heart of the powerful vampire civilization ruled by the legendary dracula but now after ages have passed the grand spires and fortresses of the legion of noctum lay in ruins abandoned and forgotten it seems pretty abandoned to me i mean there's only one person there and they seem to be like some cultist or something i mean look at like usually when you see people like standing there and just like channeling something like it just kind of comes off as culty i don't know what it is i it just it screams cult to me um, continuing. In the depths of Mordium, life stirs anew, inhabited by servants and fanatical cultists of- Oh, I was right. <laughs> fanatical cultists devoted to Dracula. Along with newfound dangers unbound by conventions, the Lord of Night has thrived in the Shadow Realm, and his imminent return brings forth creatures from distant realms. Behold, the Draculan creatures from the Shadow Realm that appear to be tainted by Dracula's blood-soaked influence. These creatures from another world bring with them a unique blood type- from the realm of darkness and drinking it provides unique bonuses for you to utilize depending on the quality of the blood type you'll be able to move more quickly at night heal more easily and have multiple advantages that allow you to secure kills more easily and more often you'll also face the vampire generals of the legion of noctum some of dracula's oldest and most fervent followers Overcoming them will unlock ancient powers tied directly to your vampire lineage, uncovering secrets that will allow you to expand on your connection to deeper vampire magics. Ooh. Dracula Rises. The final challenge on your vampire journey will be to fight your way into the deepest depths of Mordium, where Dracula's forces gather at the foot of his castle. Once great and mighty, it stands as a testament to what the great king of vampire kind once achieved and of the dominion he seeks to bring on his return. So, uh, going back to what it said uh, here, vampire generals of the Legion of Noctum, I believe that that boss-looking... Um, vampire that we saw earlier i'm gonna say they're a vampire they look like a vampire to me with the eyes and the and the hair and all that I, i'm gonna go with vampire i could be wrong but i think that's probably one of the vampire generals of the legion of noctum which is kind of cool also i find it interesting that they keep mentioning that this area has no sunlight essentially so it looks like we're going to have a good time there. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to have to worry about sunlight at all in that area, uh, which is really cool, actually. I know I really like that in uh, Northern Gloomrot, so it's kind of nice to see another area of the game that's like that, even if it's for a different reason. Here in Mordium, the Legion of Noctum is hard at work performing dark rituals to flood the world with Draculin from the Shadow Realm so that they may gather blood, fueling the magical engine that will bring the full return of Dracula. It will be up to you to go and disrupt these invasions, shattering their dark rifts and collecting the essence magic left in the aftermath. You will be able to use these resources to tap into powerful vampire powers, craft and empower weapons, and eventually even craft the key required to strike the very core of the immortal king's operation. Craft the key, you say? Hmm. I wonder if that's going to be uh, the blood key that's currently in the game. I wonder if that's what's, what they're referring to. Because right now, that blood key has, like, no purpose. After retaining knowledge and power by draining the blood of Dracula's closest and most powerful servants, you'll acquire all you need to infiltrate the Shadow Realm and face Dracula yourself. Let's go back to the trailer real quick, because I just realized something. So, okay, notice how soon Dracula gets up from his chair and how far away you are. Does he really have aggro that far out? Like, and also, if we go if we go back a few frames to the previous um to like the staircase thing, right? 
and we go back. I don't see a place to go downstairs to get there. It looks like you have to jump over the edge. Like, there's no stairs, guys. Where are the stairs? So it looks like as soon as you enter the arena, he's like, all right, you're done. No escape. Wow. I could be wrong. There probably are stairs. Um, most bosses in this game, you can back out of and like try to escape once you start the fight. Like you can just kind of say, oh crap, I'm, I'm dying. This isn't working. A new plan. Let's, let's skedaddle and come back. I wonder if Dracula is just going to force you to die. Like I would like, that would be so funny. I mean, I don't know. Like they haven't done that before in the game. So it would be kind of interesting if that were the case, but wow. The final battle will test the limits of your abilities and force you to prove that you are truly worthy of the title of Apex Predator of Vardoran. The hunt begins in 2024. Embrace your darkest desires and be rising. Whether you venture alone or alongside companions, feel the pulse of a heartbeat under your fingertips with the DualSense controller as you drain the life out of your prey. Feel the thrum of power vibrate in your palm as you summon magic to wreak havoc on your foes in the rush of explosive contact as great beasts crash into the earth beside you. The hunt is on in 2024 on the PS5 with V Rising. Wow. I don't know. I'm so hyped. Like, I don't even know what to say. I'm like speechless. <laughs> This is so exciting. I love this. Like every everything about this is just like super like hype. Like I know like and I'm sure you guys are probably really excited about this too. So I, I know I'm not the only one. So I, I will say the only disappointment for me really was not knowing two things in the blog. The first thing is when is the PS5 release actually coming out? Like we know it's coming out in 2024, but what day we don't know yet. And the second thing that I wish we knew was whether or not it's going to be crossplay between PC and PS5. So I really don't know how that's going to work. Um, I just I just wonder really because I know for like PS5 you have like you know the PlayStation Store. Uh, there's like some kind of like subscription for like if you're playing games online like multiplayer. I wonder if that's still going to be needed if you're connecting to like a private server though. Like I don't I don't see why it would, but I could be wrong. I don't know. That's some that's something to think about. I I really I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work if we do have crossplay. Um but yeah, it that this is definitely going to be something that I look forward to. I cannot wait for the release of Dracula himself. I cannot wait. Um, but yeah, I just want to uh, say a few quick thank yous. Thank you to everyone who's been leaving comments in some of these videos of like me reacting to a lot of this uh, new content. I know I'm just excited as you guys are. I try to give as much background and information from like previous stuff so that you guys can cross reference on your own time. Um, so just let me know if you find that useful or if you think that it's just kind of overkill and you don't really find it valuable at all. Um, but yeah, just let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, my name is Shiloh Q. I am a Shiloh East Quaintly Reaper and Guide to the Underworld. I stream three times a week, usually on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 5 o'clock p.m. PST. Ironically, I won't be streaming today, so this is an exception to the rule. But I am going to be streaming tomorrow at 4 o'clock p.m. PST, and I'll be playing some V Rising. So, yeah, if you want to stop by, say hello, and, you know check it out. Feel free to do so. And as always, Sholo out.